Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria, where, guys, we are in a war against the Johorians, huzzah! And it's really just a war that I'm fighting because why not fight a war? So, anyways, let's let's do a couple good realm maintenance right now, where we're going to casually and quickly uh, upgrade all of our, you know, ports and stuff and docking places because we like docking places and docking places are really good. Um, and, yeah, we also, we kind of have to start moving on to a couple of, um, important things to do. Like, first off, I'm going to have to do some maintenance right now in terms of our realm and in terms of our capitalist. Because right now I'm getting pretty mad at our capitalists for not producing enough. I usually don't get mad at them for this, but they're actually not producing enough for our country to live. In fact, I don't even think I have an actual artillery factory. Like any early good factory, like any arms factory, I don't even think I own an arms factory right now, which is weird. So, and the foreign people aren't really wanting to do anything else, which is really annoying me. And so, um, what I'm going to do is just casually give them no taxes. It's going to hurt my economy for a little bit, I'm going to not deny, but hopefully that will help them realize that they should go spend their money more. Yeah, that, that, that's not going to help. Okay, give him, I gave him a chance for like three days, so don't don't get mad at me if you guys get taxed again. Because I'm in a pretty foul mood right now. Like, I just went in, I just had some like... Yeah, I just went in and got some like assignments due from like teachers at the last minute, which made me like not record for like a couple weeks and I'm a little bit unhappy about that. So I'm taking it all out on my capitalists who are insanely lazy people. Oh shoot and we have <laughs> Oh okay if I could get that reversed I would still get that reversed but right now we have to support the conservatives because the conservatives are the only government right now that's strong enough to fight against anything in our country. Which is strange, but they are. Oh, wait, 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 mobilize, not mobilize, demobilize, place this, let's go right here, let's go right there, and right now the only kind, see this is what I mean people, the only kind of soldiers we can build are just those kind, we can build tons of infantry, we can build tons of like cannons, but we can't build anything else because our people aren't actually producing anything, which is weird, alright, so we want to get social science here very soon. So let's get scientific management. No, wait, not scientific management. Wait, do we want scientific management? No. Uh, I honestly think we should take down a little bit more in the military because we're definitely militaristic people. So let's take down a little bit more in the military. And then once we're done with that, then we're going to go for our more advanced technology sciences. Let's go back to the world of war because I'm kind of ignoring that right now. That is something bad for people to do is to ignore a war that's happening to you. I mean, it is really bad to ignore a war that's happening to you, but right now this war isn't really, like, insanely important, I should say. It's just kind of important. Like, it's, it, it, the more, the more prevalent and the more, like, way of putting it, it's there. So, there we go. Also, in my joy for, like, thinking about great wars and splitting up and destroying a lot of these nations, I realize I don't actually have a great power alliance with anyone. Well, no one's really my ally for me to go declare war against other people, so... Um, well, yeah, we're gonna be trying becoming best friends with our socialist friend, America, who... I find it hilarious that America is socialist, considering that we are one of the most paranoid countries about socialism. So, yeah. America, people. And, yeah, we drop box... Uh, fall back... Ah! Uh, tensions in Brazil? Hmm. Do we recognize Brazilian independence tax reform? Ooh, that's good. Basically what this means is do I want to recognize Brazilian independence? Sure, why not? Just come back into my sphere at some point, okay? You can you can flirt with independence for a little bit, but just make sure you guys come back into my sphere. I want you guys back. You guys are a good source of income. Alright, and then Spain. You guys are almost in my sphere again, right? Right? Oh, oops, oops. Yeah, let's get... Spain's slightly more important as a nation to get into your sphere. Because Spain is Spain. Plus they're bigger and they could help me fight against France. Alright, you guys are done. Okay, you guys move down here. And that look that's looking pretty good down there. 
But we're just crushing. Jahor is not really that much of a threat to me. I don't even know why I would ever think of them as a threat. Threat. And the Russian, the Eastern question, everyone, with the Ottoman Empire fading as a great power, people have instead begun referring to this once great nation as a sick man of Europe. Who? There we go. There we go. All right. Nationalism and revolts in the great empire non trust problems are growing concerns for the Ottoman state, coupled with the re relative backwardness of the of the empire's comparison to the state of Western Europe. Many now seem to believe that the empire's demise is only a question of time. Furthermore, the reputed harsh treatment of Christians in the Ottoman Empire has led the Russian Empire to claim itself a protector of the Eastern Christendom. Should we accept the Russian encroachment on the Ottoman authority? Uh, the Russians must renounce the title! They refuse! You suck, Russia. It's okay, it's okay, that's fine with me. You're probably gonna get beat up by someone. Oh! Huh. I'm psychic! <laughs> oh man, so, <laughs> conveniently at the exact same time they did that, the, Crima the Crimean War happened, which is basically a gigantic contest between France and Russia to see who can, who can create the biggest war, the war exhaustion quicker. Alright, but yes, America, you guys are going to be our great savior alliance, and you are socialist right now, which is so hilarious. This is this is exactly what this is exactly what J. Edgar Hoover warned America about. He did not want this to happen. Hungry the economy finally stabilized. Yay! That's good, I guess. That means the tariffs go down, so it's good. Yay! Tariffs go down, because no one needs tariffs. The World Trade Fair, the fair, a splendid idea. Okay. And let's see, we're almost done with this. Let's go finish up, let's go finish up our war with I think it's it's a good, nice little war. And I've been love I've been loving dismissing them, but we really gotta get them. Next thing to do is now get social sciences though. We have to really get that. Let's finally get social sciences so we can finally go do stuff. You guys go right here, I guess, because I need you guys to dock up so you guys can start healing faster. And we got steamboat stuff happening. That's good. Yeah, look how fast that's going now. There we go. And you guys, Johor, you guys are going to be annexed no matter what you guys do. Thank you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly upgrade all the forts here so that they become as level to us. And, uh, and get a stupid port here so that we can start healing our troops. And let's see, where do we want to, now that we're done with our little Johorian conquest, where do we want to go next? The Nam, China, Korea, uh, well Korea has the likings of Japan. As much as I love to think of myself as a world power, I don't really associate myself with this side of that theater of war. So let's see, who else could we like, have a little bit of fun with? Hmm, Gondor, hmm, Congo. Could have some fun with Congo, definitely. They have no allies, they're completely defenseless. It seems like almost the right opportunity to declare war on Congo. But, one second guys, I have to make sure my crises aren't going to... Ah, uh, seems like seems like there's some independence for Serbian people right here. So, yeah. No, sorry guys, from period to period of time, I haven't really been checking my, like, Revolt risk in a long time, and as you guys know, rebel factions usually mobilize when I'm not paying attention and when I'm not doing stuff, which also means like movements of like independence go around, which I don't really like them, but they do happen. I, it's something you just have to live with. So, anyways, though, I have to think where should we go after next? What pathetic little country could we go after? Hmm. Can't go anything after over here because of stuff. You know, let's go after Congo. Congo seems like a good place to start. The face of Agamemnon! Discovered by Switzerland! Hey, weren't we in that place too? Uh, state controlled. Yeah, let's get state controlled unions. I don't. If I can control the unions, that's fine with me. Oh well, I I'll still go pay them money. It's better, it's better to pay money than to pay, like, actual gold to them. I mean, actual, like, prestige. Alright, go send our men over here. And over here, I guess I guess we'll have our ships dock up right here and go heal a little bit. Actually, Senji's actually pretty good. We'll have our troops home for a little bit. After the long voyages overseas! Huzzah! 
Long live the queen and all that. Wait a minute. I just realized something. You know, France is at war with Russia right now. And Russia and France have a pretty equal army. And you know what that means? We could probably steal some land from France. Hmm. You know what? I will start pondering the likings of my thinking I was just thinking of. Because that thinking process I was thinking could potentially lead to a good breakthrough. Okay. Come on. Come on, capitalists. You guys, I am taxing you guys the least. You guys are supposed to be the guys I'm supposed to go to for, like, help. And you guys are being completely stupid. But now that I got this, causes that causes better. I'll declare war on them. Wait, wait, are they returning? No, 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 they're not returning. Good. So, now that I have a cause, but I have a cause, but I against them, hmm. Eek. I think we're gonna have to increase the relationship with Spain, too. But, if I could get a cause, but I against our good friends of French, this could be a good opportunity for us to go whip them a new one. So, and personally, I do want control over the Suez Canal so that we control it and it's benefiting Austria's empire to get closer access to our Nate to our potential colonies over here than our friends the French so maybe it'd be a better idea if we and besides besides it's all in good faith that, that the Austrians own everything right right so yes we're going to declare war against our good buddies the uh, Frenchies to fight a war and end to French imperialism yay that is totally the reason why we're doing this no other justification can ever come forth except for that eternal reason. And man, did the Ottomans make a good recovery, guys. Like, look at that. The Ottomans just, like, started out with all this broken up empire. Now, look at them. They've actually nearly recovered most of their land. Well, most of their land in the east, in the eastern theater, not the western, because I would not allow them to get the western back. But, hmm, let's see. If we just keep... If we, if we can get Spain to like us, okay, then have both Spain, us, and all my allies fight against France, we could potentially have a great war. Alright, and let me, are you guys about ready to form an alliance? No. Diplomatic value not high enough yet. Okay, we got over 100. So next time, America should be, like, willing to form an alliance with us. At least that's how I remember how the system of diplomatic likes and dislikes go in this game so hopefully uh, Spain should be really close though to like becoming our buddy just because like we're we're influencing them to become like us you are going to become like us oh man it almost sounds like assimilation or something you will become like us and let me see how long do I have this cosplay until 1882 uh, what day exactly July 1882 so I can I don't have to declare war for a little bit which is good, because I'm going to have to let my ships rest rest and heal up, because they're really kind of broken, in a sense. Like, that's pretty, like... Yeah, you guys, you guys can see what I mean, right? They're going to need a couple months to, like, heal up and repair and do all that kind of jazz. The Rome Conference... Oh my goodness! Okay, 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 and the Scramble Africa just happened. Okay, okay. So... What, what the Scramble Africa guys, what the Scramble Africa event does, people, is it basically gives us a gigantic causes belay against everyone in the world. It's every little African nation. And it's basically the most fun. It makes, it makes conquering Africa so much fun. And that makes me sound like a bad person, and I know it does, but you gotta trust me on this. It makes Africa so much fun. So much fun as a nation to conquer, so... We have two nations, so apparently two nations joined our little friends right here to fight them. And we're actually going to leave these guys for last, because I actually want to go conquer these guys first. Mm-hmm. And we're basically just going to go take over the entire African line. Mm-hmm. Yep. No, we're, we're not going to peace out yet, because we have to go conquer your little buddy. That way we can also block, that way we can also block Britain from getting any kind of good colonial stuff happen over here because that's also what we have to do is we have to also make sure that Britain does not like expand over here into our region because if I remember correctly from our plans that still I do not know why they miraculously disappeared I don't know but from what our plans used to be 
it was very important that we owned a lot of this nation. So this is good. This is going to be a, this is going to be pretty cool events for the next like couple weeks in Africa. I mean, Africa is going to be like a main focal point in my empire for a little bit. But at the same time, while we're just casually thinking, dang it. So France went back to peace. So we missed our theater. Unless I really do want to fight a serious war with France. Well, actually, most of the French soldiers are actually still retreating back into my land, so... Hmm... You know what? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do it! <laughs> Call in all my allies... Wait, 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 wait. We have to wait. We have to make sure that Spain is on our side. If Spain is not on our side, then there's no point in doing this. That's the whole reason why we're doing this. Also, form an alliance... YES! United States is now our, our friend! Yay! They're probably the second biggest militaristic alliance you're ever gonna get in this game. But now since they're my friend, I now have good cause of allies to go get to start great wars. So if I want to go start great wars with other great powers, I now have a good sized army to go do it. Alright, you guys go destroy whatever you can and start and just add... Let me just add the war goal right here of Oyo. You guys are going to get scrambled for Africaid. Yeah, you guys are going to get scrambled for Africaid. So, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Let's see. Do you guys want to give me what? No. You guys have to give me everything I want, which is these guys and these guys. Because I don't want to go to two separate wars for them. Okay. And it seems like, it seems like our good friends Britain is already capitalizing on some other, like, nations. That's not good. We're going to have to move fast because... Britain and France in this game, in terms of colonization, are insanely big. And apparently we're using nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin, everyone. Good for body. Good, very good for body. Use it always. As you, as you guys can already see, Britain is already starting to destroy this nation over here. I don't even know what it is. Um, they're allied with Orio. Orio, so... Yeah, basically, basically what me and Britain are all doing, and all the rest, of the, all the rest of the nations. Where am I? What am I? Okay, I have everything, but they're not letting me get it. That is so cheap. Oh shoot! Other European powers already start. Ooh, I lost my cousin. Oh wait, I didn't lose my cousin's belly. Yes. Okay, gonna get that declared war on them. Okay. Um, send, send the troops. I guess my troops will go right here, and then they're gonna go dock up right there. And then from there, what they're going to go do is go declare war on Congo. Because I do want a little bit of land of Congo inside my empire. Okay. Uh, it's may seem weird to you guys right now, but I do, have, I do have a reasoning for that. And let's see. Let's go conquer all this. Boom. There we go. Go up here. Yeah, this is going to be the quickest invasion I've ever had of, of a African nation. And apparently... I could probably go kick out these two guys too because Britain is moving so slow in terms of conquest. It wouldn't even be funny. Alright, a good push con to conservatism. Because conservatism is conservatism and conservatism is good. Right, there we go. You guys, I'm going to piece you guys casually out. Yep, Annex Oil. Thank you. Fine. You guys, Annex Oil. Thank you. Bye. Yep, look at that land. <laughs> okay. Next thing, go right here. We're going to declare war. Scramble for Africa. Go. You're probably going to drag your friend in. Yep. Doesn't even matter, though. Doesn't even matter. I'm just going to quickly, casually conquer you. And I'm going to quickly, casually conquer your friend. And I'm going to go quickly, casually go conquer some other good people of mine. Like the good Santo down there. Because the Santo are the Santo, and the Santo are good. Okay, right now I just saw some colony flicker. Trouble is brewing with somebody. Southern Serbia. Seems like this is actually a crisis, so that means this is something I have to actually join in on. Shoot. Alright, but I did also see some flickering for some colonial stuff. Wait, wait, I don't have to join in this time because I'm already at war! Yeah! Go colonialism! You guys saved me from an international crisis. Crisis that could have potentially made me, like, rip my hairs out because I would have been like, ah, I don't want to join this. Okay, so there we go. Um, we don't want to help out our good friends, the uh, British. A colonial election or a militaristic election, pro, pro military. So basically, Britain is going to be helping me do all my stuff. And 
I basically have the capital occupied. So, uh, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is going to be an exciting episode next time when we start colonizing more. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.